Good day everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber back at it again with another toy review. And we are back at it again with Evil Ash from Army of Darkness. It has been a while guys since I've posted a video on YouTube. I've been away for a while, been really, really, really busy, uh, really, really tired, <laughs> haven't really had much time uh to uh review any figures so today is uh, technically somewhat my day off and i figure we come at it again with another action figure review and uh, really i haven't really been buying stuff uh that much um that's a little bit of a lie i have been ordering stuff off of the internet so i do have a bunch of stuff coming my way but you know as far as going to comic book stores and, and purchasing um purchasing items i have not visited comic book stores in a while so i don't know if that's a good thing uh, i guess it's a good thing because <laughs> i'm not spending so much money uh, on action figures but then again there is this evil thing called the internet and yes i have been spending quite a bit of uh, money on that you know as far as uh you know not only action figures but other things as well so here is Evil Ash, and we're going to do a review of this. And of course, this is from Army of Darkness. This is from the Movie Maniac series. This is Todd McFarlane. And when we break this guy out of the package, we're going to do another review of this guy right here, Freddy Krueger, another uh, figure from the Movie Maniacs um, series. And we're going to do like a little comparison, even though they're from kind of different realms. Um, the different movie series, you know. Um, as of right now, he's the only movie maniac action figure that I have. So, <laughs> so, and I think that'd be pr pretty cool to do, um, you know, to do a, a comparison between Evil Ash and Freddy Krueger. So, but we are going to take this guy out the package, and if you can find this guy anywhere, he's become someone somewhat of a collector's item. Uh, but that's not going to stop me from breaking open this package. <laughs> so that's what I do. I'm a reviewer. I have to review the action figure. That means I have to break out the package. Or break him out the package, should I say. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, show you some of the stuff that's on the back here, right here, before we do that. Clyde Barker's Tortured Souls, which it's an okay series. Um, I, I have found some Tortured Souls uh, for cheap. Didn't really buy any, um, because I'm not really interested in the Tortured Souls. Um, let's see. I might, I'm not saying that I won't in the future buy Tortured Souls. Um, it's still a possibility. If I, like I said, find them for a really, really good uh, cheap price. So here's Spawn Series 20, and then McFarlane's 3D Animation from Japan Series 2. And here are some of the other action figures here. And I really like this uh, Blair Witch. If I can find that Blair Witch anywhere, I would definitely would love to get that Blair Witch because she looks really, really awesome. So, okay, back to the figure at hand. Now, I did pay a little bit money, uh, a little bit of money for this figure, um, even though I seen it someplace else cheaper. I wasn't really paying attention to the price on this. I thought it was. I thought it was cheaper uh, because I saw it at another place for the same price and realized it wasn't. It was I actually paid maybe uh, ten dollars more uh, for this figure than when I seen it at uh, at another place for ten dollars cheaper. So let's break out this right here, and here is the stand. Let me take this out right here. Okay, so we'll put that off to the side. And we'll bring in the stain here, and of course this kind of pegs into here. At least I think, or maybe it goes the other way. Yeah, there we go. And the, these stands are very cool. Um, you know, uh, when you buy the Movie Maniacs uh, figure, this is usually what comes with it. A little poster of Army of Darkness. I do have the poster of uh, Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street. And yeah, it's a really, really cool um display piece here with the bones and stuff so am i going to display uh evil ash um wouldn't standing next to this uh probably not 
because I it just takes up too much room on my shelf and and usually usually these go into uh, into my box <laughs> until I have room to display you know them with their poster so and I don't like really like displaying it with the poster even though it's very very nice a very nice sculpted piece um, you already know who the figures are if you're you know an action figure collector so of course here at spawn.com here's the latest stuff from spawn and this is let me see what year this is I know this is like 2001 or 2002 uh, and this is 2001 okay all right and this is 2001 even though Army of Darkness came out in what year did it come out Army of Darkness came out in the 90s, right? Late 90s. It's one of my favorite movies. I should know this. So, okay, let's take a look at the action figure himself. Let's put him in better lighting if I can. <laughs> yeah, this is very, very cool, guys. Really love the detail on this guy. And, of course, he, he, he is not really articulated uh, he, these movie maniac figures are, uh, more or less a statue, but look at the eyes, look at that face. <laughs> That's probably one of the coolest faces I've ever seen on an action figure. <laughs> that is really, really cool. I love his skull helmet. And of course, if you guys have seen, uh, Army of Darkness, then you know, uh, who Evil Ash is. I'm not going to go into detail to trying to explain to you what who Evil Ash is because I'm, I'm bad at, at explaining things. But if you don't know who Evil Ash is, then pff, come on, people. You got you. You have to know who Evil Ash is. Come on. So let me break out his swords here. Hopefully I don't break them. We've got some two very big, long Excalibur swords. Oh, and I broke it off. I knew that was going to happen. Shit. With these older action figures, yeah, they, they are very easy, very easy to break off. And as you can see, I broke off the tip of his sword. Well, a little piece right there. Oh, well. Well, I'm going to put it into his hand anyway, so you guys are probably not going to see the tip of the sword. So let's put that in there. Oh no, I broke off his sword. Oh guys, I broke his sword trying to put it in his hand. Oh, that blows. And these were really, really cool swords too. Oh, I'm disappointed in myself, guys. Really, really, really disappointed. Uh, let's see, he still has a piece in there. I don't know, should I try to attempt to put this word in there there we go that popped out oh oh and the other sword goes into the other hand but I broke it off damn it I suppose I can find a sword somewhere else oh but that was a really really cool sword guys <laughs> I broke uh, see, you have to be delicate with these figures, and I broke it into four pieces. Oh, that's so disappointing. And it was a really, really awesome sword. <laughs> so now he has one sword. I don't I guess it was destined to be, I guess. Like I said, I, I do believe I have other swords laying around here somewhere. And uh, I'll definitely have to uh, look for him to give him another sword, because his hand is missing a sword here. But I'll show you guys the detail. What can you do? What can you do? You know, I, I've broken swords. I've lost swords. And the detail on this guy is just amazing. I love the chain. Oh, and this real chains too. It moves. That's really awesome. Yeah, the detail on this guy is just impeccable. <laughs> really, really, really awesome. I love the chest plate right here. Does that come off? Uh, no, it doesn't come off. I don't want to try to attempt it. And I love the blood. Can you guys see the blood in there? 
love the face sculpt on this guy. That's one of the reasons why I bought this uh, McFarlane figure is just the face sculpt on it. They had the uh, the regular Ash, but there was nothing special about him. You know, he didn't have the chainsaw attached to his arm. He was just kind of a regular looking Ash. So let me see. As far as the articulation, oh, look at that. I didn't even notice this guy's. Look at the slash marks on his pants, the bloody sl slash marks. Those are cool. I love his boots. Really great detail to his boots. And here's his cape. I didn't show you the guys the back. Really, really great articulation. And his cape is kind of a, it's a rubber cape. Very, very well detailed. I love these kind of, uh, these figures, you know. I love what uh, Spawn does, especially with the medieval Spawn. You know, the detail that goes into it is just absolutely amazing. And his arms don't really move up and down. Of course, I don't want to break anything. His hands are rubbery, which is kind of good. They do turn. Um, he has no break up here. Well, he does have a break, but I'm not going to attempt to try to turn his arm because this is a older action figure and it'll probably pop off like the sword broke off on me his feet they are bendable or not bendable but they are turnable if there is such a word well that one is the left one is and that's pretty much it to his articulation i mean you can can get his head to move but then again i don't want it to get to i don't want to move it because i don't want to break off his head <laughs> because his head is the best part of his body and let me try to do a stand. Let me try to stand him up next to his poster. Yeah, I wish he had another sword. Damn it. But that's what happens, you know, when you get older figures out the, the box and and they break off on you. So what can you do? Very, very cool figure, guys. Uh, like I said, uh, I don't know if you would consider this an action figure. He's more or less a statue, but very, very, very nice, especially for its time, you know, 2002. So let's do him with a pose of him and Freddy Krueger, Evil Ash and Freddy Krueger. Yeah, and they scale very well together. That's pretty awesome. I would love to get him in a, a fight scene here. Who do you think? Who do you think would win? Freddy Krueger or Evil Ash? I think Freddy Krueger would win. <laughs> but it's very, very cool. You can tell they're they're from the same sculptor because they they feel the same, they look the same. Uh, very, very nice pieces. And I definitely probably would put this Evil Ash next to my Freddy Krueger. <laughs> surprisingly enough they go very well together and i think because you know they have the the regular boots and the pants and the shirt to match and yet they have you know they're they're very modernistic as far as clothing wise but then again you know they you know freddie has his claw of course and then ash has his sword and his armor and stuff and they both have kind of like burnt dead faces you know what i mean and hands too. So yeah, they're very similar. Um, they can, they probably can exist in the same universe. Yeah, but this evil Ash is awesome. Very, very, very cool, guys. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys my review, or excuse me, my rating of this guy. I can't really find anything wrong with him. Like I said, I'm not gonna count this really as an action figure. Um, this is 2002, this is McFarlane, articulation, I'm not, I'm not even going to count the articulation because it's pointless, <laughs> as far as a McFarlane figure, it's pointless, I mean, really, you're looking at the sculpt, and this is just the true beauty, true masterpiece, um, I'm kind of reluctant to give him a 10, but he is really, really, really awesome, guys. I mean, he is really, really close to a 10. I don't want to give him a 9.5 because 9.5 just, just feels like too low for this character. I mean, being that it's a 2002, and then, of course, it's a McFarlane. And it's a very, very well 
done piece. Very, very well mastered uh, piece. I, I, you know, I, I didn't think I would like this guy, but having him out the package, um, just look at that face. That face is just so awesome. Those eyes are just so awesome. Um, yeah, I can't give this guy a perfect 10 um, because he's not perfect. Not, you know, not every action figure is perfect, but I would definitely give him a 9.75, I think is a, a really good score, is a really decent score. I mean, he is just really, 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 really awesome. And he's meant to be a display piece as well. So and you can't go wrong with uh, Movie Maniacs, you know. Uh, like I said, I only have a few Movie Maniacs as of right now. And I definitely would love to, to collect some more Movie Maniacs because these guys are just straight masterpieces. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. Have, there you go. There you go, guys. Wow. Stumbling over my words too early in the morning for this. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not in my chippy mood. I'm kind of a little bit tired. Um, woke up early again today, and I figure, well, you know what? It's been a while since I've done an action figure review, and I figure, you know, I, I I wanted to get this guy out the package, and I wanted to not only to review him for you guys, but I wanted him to review him for myself. And he does not disappoint. Definitely a nine point seven five. He probably would look really, really awesome with, <laughs> with the two swords on his hands. But like I said, I'll have to find another sword because uh, I don't think I can repair this one. This one has to, might have to go into the trash. 